Grace and peace be with you. Hi, my name is Mark. I'm the pastor at Sycamore Creek Empire. Well, I have a brief thought for you today. It is from Psalm 65 as I read through Psalms for my devotions. And I think when we are outside or when we see a sunset or a lake or a field or a mountain or an animal, that we can be struck by the awe and the wonder of creation. And that's the first thing that I noticed about this Psalm, Psalm 65. But as I dug deeper into it, I focused on prayer. You see, Psalm 65 has three sections. Verses 1 through 4 are about approaching God. Verses 5 through 8, they record God's answer and how God rises up for us in deliverance. And then verses 9 through 13, can, well, they can sort of be seen as a harvest hymn of praise to God. Now, verse 2 in that first section, that states, O oh, to you who hear prayer, to you all flesh will come. Let me repeat that. Oh, to you who hear prayer, to you all flesh will come. You see, embedded in that verse is a central idea that God can do things that we can't do on our own. And it won't happen unless we pray for them to happen. And yes, that includes God is capable of creating the world, which we are not. But even more importantly, God is capable of forgiveness. And God is capable of blessing that comes only from God. Uh, we may be a mess. Our, our life uh, might be flawed definitively. And we might recognize that. We might be convicted of that. But when we turn to God, when we turn to God in prayer, we're forgiven. We are, as David writes, filled with good things of God's house. Praise be to God for prayer. Grace and peace be with you.